Uh, Anthony, mm-hmm. you know, this, is, this would be a good segue into what we did after the show yesterday. Trying you to know, remember what we did after the show well, yesterday. Well, see, we moved the, you know, the hours of the show so we could get some West Coast action, which is still not really coming in that much. West Coast. Uh, so, the, you know, we're doing a morning show live from New York, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. now. Mm-hmm. It used to be 6 to 10, but we realized, you know, most people in, in California, you know, not really awake enough to, to participate in the show. So we kind of moved it. That's what we're telling everyone. We just really wanted an extra hour sleep. <laughs> yeah, which we don't get because it's all relative. Yeah, I, I'm with you with the I whole... went, of course, sleep an hour early or later, later in the night. So it's all relative. I'm still getting yeah. no sleep. So the 6 a.m. hour, because it's very important to the New York audience, you know, we're doing kind of a best of, but, you know, you just throw a best of on for an hour. People are like, ah. Oh. So what we're trying to do to hook some people is we intro the bits. Uh-huh. We're introing the bits in the 6 a.m. hour, and uh, we usually, well, all right, I'll let what? you in on a little secret. We tape it after the show, but then but then, how we talk, we make believe it's the actual day. Yeah, that goes over so well. <laughs> fooling everybody with that. <laughs> that clever rouge. <laughs> so now, you know, I, uh, I just tore down the third wall for you, yes, so now you can enjoy gone. it fourth how wall. we enjoy it. Would it fourth. be the fourth wall officially? Yes, Why? Wall fourth wall. It's just what it's they called. They broke the fourth wall. But on TV, they they used to say the third wall. No, because four walls would be like the room. Okay. And then once you tear one of them down, now you can look into the room and see the happenings. But you could still tear down the third wall and still see into the room. You only got a corner. But if the fourth wall's already gone, you don't need to tear the third wall down because then you have half a room that's going to collapse on you and your little <laughs> insight will be meaningless because you'll be dead under a pile of rubble. Two walls just go oh. flap, flap yeah. right on top Dude, of you. Every dust room blows from under them. <laughs> He tore yeah. down the third wall, why that idiot. Just, why don't you just say we're going to tear down all walls and then uh, yeah. and then nuke the site? You just tear down that fourth wall. But every room has walls, and you yeah. number them. Look, I like one, two, the ceiling. three, four. But I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to tear down the wall that is labeled four. I like tearing down the wall that's labeled three. The third wall. Yeah. Because everyone tears down the fourth. It doesn't. There's still going to be three walls up. So instead of tearing down the wall, why don't we just drill a little hole in the stall between the two? Wow, Ricky took her advice from this morning, and, and now he's trying to look ghetto. I think there's trouble. His hat's backwards. His hat's on backwards. He untucked his shirt. Baggy pants. I, I got it. There was too many things for him to get this trip. Oh, chopper down, chopper down. Chopper crashes in the Florida Everglades. Mm. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, it's a traffic copter. It's a good place to crash. Getting eaten by alligators as we speak, probably. Mm. All right. To you. So anyway, uh, so to keep people sort of interested in the best of stuff in the 6 a.m. hour on the East Coast, we kind of yeah. intro the bits. So we do it after the show, make believe it's the, it's that day that it's running. And yesterday we were fortunate enough to have uh, Jay Morris, you know, continue with us after the show and and uh, help us with the intros to some of these worst of bits, Anthony. Exactly. And I think it's uh, worth playing now uh, because it'll waste another 10 minutes. Ooh. We're going to acknowledge all the things we do today to to waste uh, radio time. We're playing recorded material. We yeah. might change. Well, you got to eat that um, tuna fish sandwich. Yes, anyway. I do. So yesterday, uh, here's the first one we did. This is this is going to air what tomorrow? Uh, yeah, right. This will air tomorrow yeah. at 6 a.m. Yeah. But you might not be up to hear it. So why don't we play it now for you? Okay. Way to go, Ob. Thank I you. I like it. Listen to this. We got to talk about Norton. He um he hired an older escort, a grandma, I believe, right? Yeah, I don't really remember the bit, though. I, I'm reading it here. It's an older escort's mother's. Norton hires a grandma escort with a bunt and ass cheeks that look like two lima beans. How do you so not remember par- that? I, I, I don't know. I didn't realize I fucked Corey Kahaney. <laughs> Did, who were... Oh, oh, oh. Wow, what did she do to you? <laughs> Nothing. I love Corey Kahaney. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just had to tie in a name with, you know, last comic. And why did Jay leave? He's coming back now, <laughs> Jay. bullshit, man. She works her ass off, Jim, and that is, that's just, that is, that's bullshit. You're that right. is bullshit and amateur. She's got kids, she's married, she works her ass off. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So you could have said Lisa Lampanelli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't say great grandmother. Yeah, and she doesn't have, a, she has a bunt, but it starts under her nose and ends at her fucking ankles. <laughs> the queen of mean, are you? <laughs> Don't get on her bad side, she'll compare you to a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like when she gets all mean in her act? Oh, heck oh. no. I, I won't go to the bathroom. <laughs> you do what you want to do. I'm not getting picked on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He looks like a testicle. <laughs> not cool, Jim. Oh, you're right, man. Kind of... <laughs> what is it? You don't like female comics. Oh, 
Well, I, I actually do if they're good. Like, I think DeGeneres is great. I love yeah. all DeGeneres. Yeah, for someone that looks like David Spade, she's <laughs> on the list. Those two fucking freaks are turning into each other. Dude, David Spade, if you don't laugh during those Capital One commercials, oh I don't know what's God. wrong with you. Dennis on. Miller doing net zero. like It's just a bunch of whores. Ten dollars just lay down on the floor and let people jerk off all over you. That's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you about net zero. Check, 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 check. Dude, you were the hippest guy in the world when you were on Saturday Night Live. Net zero. You got SNL to clear Exile on Main Street songs before you did the news, <laughs> and now you're going ten dollars a month to cut check that. <laughs> Fucking zilch. <laughs> it's like that King of Queens bitch doing Pennzoil. Like that's who's supposed to be doing those commercials. Leah Remini. Whatever. Yeah. She's a oh. she's a um, Scientologist. Is she? I don't care what she is. I'd love her to drop a silo into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> there you have it. So we tape these after the show, Anthony. Yeah. As we try to eat a little breakfast here. This, that, Whoa. That's the excuse to play some of these really fast. So what are you eating, Opie? Uh, just a little uh, egg white and uh, potato on a, like a roll thing. I'm hungry. Kind of nice. All right, so here's the second one that we taped yesterday that will air, I guess, sometime tomorrow on the 6 a.m. hour on the East Coast. Giving a, uh, you a little preview. Ooh. Well, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people don't. Uh, get up and, and listen to this. No, no. I know a lot of people that are like, oh, I don't, no, that, I don't get to listen to well, this at 6 o'clock. This is new material. You're missing new stuff. This is new material that uh, they would, would not hear unless we were playing for them now. Yes. Here we go. I got an email on my website from Stalker Patty, and she's very polite. Yeah, and she I, always is. I asked her, I said, how do you enjoy your newfound celebrity? Mm. And it was like a three-page, like, I have to admit, it takes getting used to. <laughs> it's very hard when I'm used to my private life to have to then deal with people. And the paparazzi. And the paparazzi. <laughs> I'm just used to working at Godiva Chocolate. <laughs> It's like working over like Willy Wonka. She's over there in the uh, chocolate factory dealing with people on a daily basis. How she does that, because she's, uh, she's not right in the head. Do you think she like tries to be a good salesperson? And now, you don't want those chocolates. I know what you're looking for. <laughs> like, no, you don't want that. That's Fugazi. Come over here in the back. I'll give you the good chocolates. She you want something with a little more crunch to it. I know what you want. Like an Almond Joy sort of... She signs her emails, peace out, Patty. Yeah. Oh, it is. I want to just bite her fingers. Peace oh. out. Spit well, on the message boards, you got, some, you got some people that have some odd little, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, when I was on, when I called you guys that one time, yeah. the message boards were like, yeah, that was awesome, but you know what? It's going to take more than that and him groveling to have win my fucking graces back. <laughs> what? It's like, what do I, what do you do? Yeah, but you, notice how he went on right when his show got canceled? Hmm, that's when the red flags went oh, Yeah, I went on to promote a show that didn't exist. <laughs> I'm here to promote Jim Norton at the fucking Boston Comedy Connection, April 29th and 30th, you Atta shit boy, fuckers. Jay. Keep your eye on the ball, JJ. Don't, don't get cocky. Keep your eye on the ball, JJ. <laughs> So, so there you go. That was supposed to intro some kind of bit. For I don't care. Yeah, intros don't make any sense as intros anymore. For tomorrow's 6 a.m. Uh, hour. It, oh, I know a bit introduced. It was it, it's this fucking that really funny rant about me at the Boston Comedy Connection on April 29th oh, and 30th. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, boy. Now we got mm -hmm. problems. That. All right.